Hey everybody, uh, we're not going to talk about how long it took us to get this far. Um, no, we're not. It's it's been a nightmare. But we're here, and and it looks like that we have an erector set on a table. But, but it's working. Be that as it may, everything seems to be working the way it's supposed to, and we are ready to play our first game. <laughs> so much for social distancing. <laughs> we're married. It's okay. <laughs> We're going <clears> to <throat> record our first 1v1 commander because we got some feedback saying people want to see her beat me at magic. So yeah, this is what we're going to do. Uh, today I am playing Alinda the Dusk Rose. Uh, I've had this deck for a while, but since It was the... my deck originally. <laughs> yes, originally it was your deck. Um, but since the new ruling change uh, and several updates... Uh, it's a lot more um, of a competitive deck now. And I am playing Ayara first of Lockthwain. Don't know how to hold my cards yet, guys. Ayara is one of my favorite commanders. I really enjoy this deck. I've taken little ideas and then throw in some things to make it my own as well. Um, so, yeah, Ayara. All right. Do you want to roll to see who goes first? Yeah. Let's, let's just use two. Let's do that. You go first. Two D6s. Oh, I got the big 11. I should have gone first. Ha. Yep, you go first. Okay, I am going to play. And that is a mighty fine hand. Let me just say that right up front. Um, what? Let's see. Well, so... I'm going to mull again. <laughs> nice. I'll land mulligan. How does that happen? Uh, you had a crap shuffle. How did that happen? I had all swamps and a witch's cottage. Which is I'd have played it. I can't. I have nothing. Guys, would you have played that? Comment. Like, would you have played that? I wouldn't have played that. I mean, obviously, I didn't. I'm going to stop. <laughs> I'm done. I'm going to shuffle and shut up. Oh, we didn't even cut each other or anything. Do we need to? Do you want to cut me? No, no, not after that first hand. But I'm just going to let it ride. Okay. All right, let's try this again. One, three, four, five, six, and seven. Don't look at my hand, sir. Huh? I'm not supposed to smell it. Much. Well, uh -huh. yeah, it's fine. You good to go now? Yeah, I guess so. We'll see how it goes. I am going to play a swamp. I'm going to tap that. I'm going to play a vampire tutor. Lose two life. And search my library for a card to put on top. <laughs> We're starting with tutors? Hey. What game are we playing? Uh, Commander? Where is... Competitive Commander. It's not that competitive. Yeah. Watch us do all this and then the audio doesn't work. Wait, I see it moving. Oh, no, I was going to say, we know the audio works because we already tried that. Um, what I want... He takes five minute turns. Fair. Doesn't everybody? Nope. I do not take five minute turns. But he he does. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go with uh, circle library, shuffle, put it on top. I don't have to review it. Perfect. Darn. You should review it to the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and pass her. Oh. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to draw. 
I am going to play a swamp. You'll notice I have adapted to where my lands go. He has not. Okay. There's my swamp. And my soul ring. And I will... Don't have anything I can do for colorless, so I'll pass turn. Okay. On top, draw... Oh, look. I'm going to play uh, Leech Ridden Swamp and Pass Turn. I will untap my Swamp and draw my card. I will play a second Swamp. Hmm. Interesting. Can we do it again? No. We will play a... Oh, no, we won't. I'm going to pass turn. I'm going to pass turn, sir. All right. On top. I have my reason. Draw. Oh, look. More land. Yay. I thought I've been so excited to have so much land. I'm I highly to... recommend fruit water. Oh, yeah. Play a fetid heath. And... Where are your creatures? Yeah, that's a really, really good question. Um, so. Not in my hand, Pastor. Drawing my card. Playing a swamp. Playing a Yara. So whenever a Yara or another black creature comes into play, um, you lose a life, I gain a life. Sir? Yep. You're losing a life. Yep. Blah, blah, blah. Pass turn. Okay. Draw. I'm a fidget draw. Okay, drunk. let's see. So, we're going to play a swamp. And then we're going to, well, no, we're going to tap the Leech Ridden Swamp to tap the Fetid Heath for two white and then two black, and we're going to play Alinda. Hi, Alinda. And pass turn. I'll play a Swamp. And then... We are going to play Sulaport Cutthroat. Mm -hmm. And because a black creature came into play under my control, I'm going to gain a life. You're going to lose a life. Yep. Uh, also, whenever another creature I control dies, each opponent's going to lose a life, and I'm going to gain a life because of Sulaport. Yep. And you have a Linda out. And she has no counters yet. Nope. We will do Heartless Act. Destroy a target creature with no counters on it. Okay. And because... Oh, no, not mine. Never mind. <laughs> I can have myself, everyone. And I will attack you for two. I'll take the two. And I will pass turn. We'll just make Alinda a little more expensive. Just a little bit. Mm, that's okay, though. That um, was my elbows. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Probably need to put a counter up on Alinda so I can keep track of her. We have other dice. So now there. she's plus two. All right. Uh, do we want to play that now? No, we're going to hold back on that. We're going to play a Plains. And we're going to tap that for a Skull Clamp. And we're going to fast turn. Slow start. Yuck. It's fine. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. It's fine for you. It's fine. It's just perfectly fine. I'm going to make sure I'm not putting my cards up on the screen. And 
six, seven. Nope, can't do that. Yeah, I can't do that. Blah. I'm going to attack Tracking you for, for three. three. I'll take the three. That's kind of all I got. Duh. Puts me at 31. On top. Draw. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I hadn't thought about Heartless to act with Alinda. That actually works really well because it allows me to remove counters from her in addition to killing a creature, destroying a creature that doesn't have any counters on it. Indeed. Huh. So, yeah. Kind of a fun card. New one from my core, yeah. Mm, so, tap that to tap that for two white. Two more white and two black. And we'll get Linda back out. Yeah. And pass turn. Boo. <laughs> Juicy, you're lying. Well, this is a really weird matchup. Everyone sees my hand. <laughs> oh, damn it. I wasn't looking. <laughs> I haven't played a land yet. Um, hold on. I want to make sure. Oh, hmm. So we'll play a swamp. And then I will tap Soul Ring for two and two other for Dread Presence. So because, oh, yeah, I know. Should have played the swamp after I played Dread Presence. But thank you. <laughs> it's my MO, guys. Um, okay, so Black Creature came into play. Donnie, you're going to lose a life. I'm going to gain a life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And. Dun, dun, not that, not that, not that. We're going to tap a Yara, and I'm going to sacrifice my Zulaport. It sounds weird, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to draw a card. And the one that gets a counter. Oh, that's an Alinda. And then... I guess I passed her. Okay. That's all I got. Oh, sorry. When he or another creature I control dies, so you lose a life, I gain a life. Okay. okay. Sorry, everyone. Follow Are you done? Up. Now you're done? I guess so. Okay. I Let's mean, I, I have to be. I draw the turn. I'm going to play a Cabal Coffers. And then... I am going to um, tap this 40, 40, to tap this for two to tap that for two. So that's two black, three, four black for a total of six. And I'm going to play Sora Markov. No! <gasps> that's that one. Um. Plus two, he deals two damage to target creature player, and I gain two life. Minus three, target opponent's life total becomes ten. Mm. And minus seven, you control target player during that player's next turn. I'm going to go ahead and minus three Soren and make your life total ten. That's so rude. That's so rude. And pass turn. So rude. Might be a quick game after all. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so I'm going to not show my cards because then he sees them. So I'm going to play a Witch's Cottage for my land for a turn. Um, it does not enter tap because I control three other swamps. When it does enter the battlefield untapped, I can put target creature card from my graveyard on top of my library. Then I will... What do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, I have Damn it. You're fine. Be prison swamps the swamps, so it counts towards the coffers. I tap, I tap, it's just a tap for 3, not 2. I don't have enough for that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I do for that. Six, seven, and eight. Uh oh. 
and I will play. Okay, Army of the Damned. Mm -hmm. So Army of the Damned allows me to create thirteen yes. tapped two two zombies. Which I'm gonna hope again. Yes. Gonna use one of these dice to represent thirteen. Oh well, sorry guys, having a brain fart. Um, so you're gonna take thirteen points of damage because Agar is in play. Ouch. And I'm gonna gain thirteen life. All right, leaves me with sixteen. This is way better now. <laughs> Nice. Um, but that kind of tapped me out. You have creatures. I didn't. Oh, that counts as a swamp. Yes, it does. So whenever a swamp enters a battlefield under my control, I can either draw a card and lose a life or have it do two damage to any target. What Soren's. Soren's got, he's only got one loyalty left. So we'll do the two points of damage to him. Okay. Because that's nonsense, everyone. Nonsense. And, oh my god, <laughs> see how it changes? <laughs> Even 1v1. Yep. Um, okay, and then I will sacrifice one of these zombies and tap her to draw a card. And we'll give it to Karen. And I will, what is she, a 3-3? Three, three? Yep. I'm going to attack you for 3. Uh, Make a decision. I'm going to take the three. I thought so. I'll be done. That's all I can do this turn. Exactly. That's a good turn. It's the first time I've gotten to play uh, Army of the Damned in this deck. I will play a Swamp. It just gives me more ramp. I will... Um, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I will pay one to tap that for two black to tap that for four. For what? What are and you doing? I will use three of that I wasn't to play attention. Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose. That's Vito. And I'll use one more for an Orzhov Signet. Would you stop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all your creatures, all your creatures are tapped. Um, correct. Okay, so Alinda has life link. Vito says whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to combat and attack you for three. Okay. You can't block. Yeah. So you'll take three. I'll gain three life, and you lose three more. So rude. Your life total was ten, by the way. Oh, yeah. Don't mind me. It was 13. Because remember, I gained three Oh, that's three right. You life. gained three. No. I gained 13. I was at 23. Oh, okay. 23. That's right. Stop it. Guys, do you see what I have to put up with? Okay. I had 23. I'm taking a total of six, correct? Yes. Thank you. So I'm at 14. Okay. And I'm going to pass turn. Good. So rude, everyone. He just tried to kill me. That's, that's how you win in magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. That's only nine. I thought I was going to kill him, everyone. I have 16 life. You have 15 creatures. I. Oh, sorry. You only have 14 creatures. I could have creatures. done. I need one more mana to bring Army of the Damned back. Ah. And I was going to try to. But I've got other plans. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and let's do two for the Zulu Port Cutthroat. So you're going to take a point of damage. I'm going to gain a life. Okay. 15. Oh, we're both at 15. That's cool. Okay, and then we're going to Vile Rebirth 
which is going to exile a card from a graveyard, and we're going to exile Soren. Okay. And then I'm going to get another 2-2 two, two, uh, zombie. Okay. So you can take another point of damage, and I will gain another life. That's going to be a 14. Then... We're just going to do as much as we can. Um, I'm going to play Chittering Witch. Um, I get a rat for each opponent I have, which is not so great against 1v1. Well, I had a creature come into play, so you will lose a life, I will gain one. You got two creatures come into play. Because you got the witch and then the rat. Oh, sorry. My bad, everyone. Look, see? So now I'm at 12. Look at him help me. <laughs> I still have two. Uh, I will let you decide. Uh oh. Um, each opponent sacrifices a creature or an enchantment. Um, that's kind of shitty because I don't have any enchantments. Correct. But you do have to decide between two creatures. Oh, boy. Uh. Alenda? Mm. Oh. Well, if I. Sack Linda, she gets counters, or I get vampires. So, yeah, I will sacrifice a Linda, and that will get me two vampires. Okay. Then I'm going to sacrifice a zombie and tap a yard, draw a card. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. I had a creature die. Just yes, one. you did. I had to. I sacrificed that, so I'm going to gain a life, and you lose a life. Yep, puts me at eleven. Right. Yep. Um, I didn't play a land. Don't care about that. Nothing else died. I don't have anything else to sacrifice. Anything else too? But I guess that was my graveyard too. You only have veto and one one vampires. Yep. How big is Vito? He's a 1-3. He's a 1-3. I will attack you. I will get out another. I mean, I might as well just attack you with all of my zombies. I'm going to attack you with Dread Presence and 12 2-2 two zombies. Okay. I will pay one life. I hate you. What are you doing? And one other <laughs> to play a Dawn Charm and prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. So rude. Done. Your turn. Okay. I got him next turn, guys. Next yeah, turn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I unless, got him. Pretty sure. Unless I can pull something out of my... Yeah. This is why I like playing a Yara. So draw for turn. Not really gonna help me there. Um, hmm. I guess we can. So I will tap a swamp to tap the signet for a black and a white. I will use one of those to equip a vampire, killing it and allowing me to draw a card. I'll use the other one to kill the other vampire and draw another card. And... Even Soren's thing didn't mess up my life total too bad. I... I'm very happy with that. Wasn't able to capitalize on it the way I wanted to. It's okay. That, I mean, of course, I'm saying that's okay, but I'm just impressed with the way my deck worked with that. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be... Dead. D-E-A-D. <laughs> Dork here. Capital. D-E-A-D. So there's... What have I got mana wise? Um, five, six, seven, eight, 
Um, all right, so I'm going to tap the Leaf Ridden Swamp to tap the Fetid Heath for two. And then I'll tap the Coffers for four. And then I will use there's four. And I'll take two white and I'll use three for a Bishop of Rebirth. This gives me a blocker and that leaves me with one floating. So I'll use that one floating and two more black for a captivating vampire. Boo! It's a big boo. Big boo. Wait, it's all blurry and I don't know which direction I'm moving. Hi. Big boo. And then I'm going to pass turn and probably die. Probably? Let's find out. Draw a card. Wait, I'm tapping my light. Draw a card. Um, okay, so I don't have enough to bring back my thing yet. One, two, I haven't got any more lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, twenty-nine. And I need one more. Dang it, one more mana. I have nothing in here that's going to give me that one more mana either right now. It's frustrating. Ha! So, you just suck it, sir. <laughs> Second. I will instead pay these two to play a doomed dissenter, which is a black creature, and you can take a point of damage and yeah, I will gain yeah, the life. Yeah. Um, I can't do that. That's not going to help me this turn, but I'm going to do it anyways because in case you do live, I'm going to play Bitter Blossom. Doesn't matter right now. Nope. If I can kill you, then we're, we're excellent. Yep. Um, I will go ahead and. Actually, let's do this. Um, I am going to tap a Yara and sacrifice my Doom to center. Mm -hmm. When I sacrifice my Doom to center, I get a zombie. So yep. you're going to take a point of damage and I'm going to gain a life. Yep. And then I am going to go ahead. That one zombie has summoning sickness, though. And I want to attack you with the other ones. Just me. Trying to go through my tokens. Um, so we'll go ahead and just put a one over here for my summoning sickness zombie. And then. I mean, really, if you just attack me with the 12 zombies, it's enough to kill me. Because I've only got three blockers. I'm going to attack you with my 12 zombies. Okay, so if I can block three of them, that takes. So it's. That's 24 minus 6. That's 18. You're dead. I'm dead. Good game. Good game. Let's shake over yours. <gasps> okay. <laughs> game two. What? <laughs> Are we going to stop the recording We're now? We're going to stop okay. the recording now. Thanks, you guys.